Uh, okay, uh, good afternoon guys. I'm just gonna say that our topic for today is about Pacquiao versus Thurman. Pacquiao, Manny Pacquiao versus Keith Thurman. Okay, today is July 17, 2019. We have three days to go before the fight. So, according to my analysis, I watched both fights, their most recent fight, Pacquiao versus Broner and Keith Thurman versus Jose Cito Lopez. So let's take on let's take a look on Pacquiao versus Broner. Okay. In this fight, Pacquiao totally outboxed Adrian Broner. If you're gonna look at the fight, Manny Pacquiao totally dismantled Adrian Broner. All rounds. There are some rounds that Broner was able to get, but the majority of the fight, Pacquiao made the fight. Pacquiao made the majority of the fight. He punched more, he landed more, he landed more significantly. Strong punches, more effective strike, more, more effective punches. Uh, Broner. On the latter rounds, he just ran and ran and ran when he got hit with the left hand. So, what I can say in Pacquiao's side is he has a strong combination. He has a strong left hand. His deadly punch <clears throat> is the left hand. So, all, any fighter that is against Pacquiao must avoid his left hand. And will be against his tremendous speed. That's what the fighters are going to expect when you're in the ring with Pacquiao. Pacquiao has great speed and footwork. So you better watch his hands fly. He has this fast combinations where you can see his punches. And Broner was the last victim. And I don't see in that fight where Broner said that he won the fight. There's nothing I can say where he won the fight. There's nothing I can see in the fight where he, where he is the one in charge. No, there's no, there's nothing in the fight where he led. He was all down. He was tracking all rounds. So yeah, Pacquiao was a strong left hand with with fast, with fast fists, fast combinations that was able to outbox Adrian Broner so yeah and let's move on to the next fighter the opponent of Manny Pacquiao Keith one time Thurman versus Jose Cito Lopez in this fight <clears throat> Jose Cito Lopez was dropped on the second round uh, Keith Thurman has a strong right hand and Absolutely, you can't, you can't underestimate his knockout percentage. Okay, he has a strong right hand and can knock anybody out. Jose Cito, uh, on the other side, Jose Cito Lopez has a heart of a Mexican, and you know Mexican fighters has this wild heart. They're gonna go charge and charge and fight and fight, punch you and punch you until you. Until you look, uh, until you get beat up, but Keith Thurman has this good strategy of ducking, dodging, and has a strong right hand that to follow his dodging. And in that fight, Keith Thurman has a, is faster than Jose Cito Lopez. He didn't out. Uh, he somehow outboxed Jose Cito Lopez, but on the seventh round, Jose Cito Lopez exposed him with those punches he showed the Mexican power the Mexican heart and he, Keith Thurman felt it so it was true that Keith Thurman was on the rust it was rusty fight uh, but Keith Thurman somehow outboxed and is faster than Jose Cito Lopez the difference between Pacquiao's most recent most recent fight and Keith Thurman's most recent fight is Keith Thurman is a more aggressive opponent while Pacquiao 
Pacquiao's last opponent was was just dodging and like Floyd Floyd Mayweather wanna be Adrian Broner. Like he talks smack a lot, but he didn't do it in action. In the ring, yeah. So when when two those two fighters collide July twentieth, we can see that it will it will be a lot of action because Keith Thurman is not a fighter who will just run and run. He's gonna he's gonna dodge and punch your back. And he has a dangerous right hand. Okay? He has a dangerous right hand. He's a one time punch that you should avoid. Any fighter should avoid this right hand because it can knock anybody out. Well for Pacquiao, even at age of forty, he can still knock anybody out. With his speed and combinations, he has a strong left hand. Okay. Pacquiao Pacquiao's power punch is on the left hand. And Keith Thurman should avoid that left hand because it might be his last. It might be a disaster for him. So both are aggressive fighters and both are strategic uh, tactical fighters it will be a chess match and it will be a brawl okay July 20th tune in watch it uh, in the Philippines it will be shown July 21 Sunday because it will be via satellite I think but the main fight is on July 20th so I want you guys to tune in I watch the watch the fight because it will be an exciting fight. So based on my analysis, uh, who's leading? A uh, Pacquiao is leading the fight. Pacquiao is. Well, I am saying this based on their last fight. Okay. So based on their last fight, Pacquiao has the advantage with the speed combinations, the footwork. He is faster. Uh, Keith Thurman somehow has the power, uh, the speed. Uh, uh, Pacquiao is faster than Thurman, but Thurman has his own way of showing the speed, uh, and it's when he sees he uses his speed to open up opportunities, like he said. So yeah, <clears throat> according to their last fight. Pacquiao was more advantage. This this just according to my on how I watched their last fight. How can I say that Pacquiao is on the lead and Pacquiao overpowers Thurman? It's because Thurman's last fight on the seventh round he was almost stopped. Like he was on the verge of being stopped. On the seventh round that's the round where we felt that he is about to lose. We, we thought that Jose Cito Lopez was about to win the fight. But no, he won the fight and that's the heart of a champion. So yeah. This is going to be an amazing fight. More action in the ring. Uh, both fighters should avoid each other's strong hands. Strong, strong punches. Uh, Pacquiao will have the lead on speed, speed footwork, combinations, lateral movements, and he has a strong left hand. Any fighter should avoid Pacquiao's strong left hand. He's gonna lead you with that right hand, right jabs, right straight jabs, and boom, punch you with that left hand. But he's gonna do it fast and sharp fast and sharp with every punches fast and sharp uh, Keith Thurman on on the other side he can win the fight if he can land this right hand of his because he has a strong he has a really strong right hand that no one can joke about if he lands that strong right hand then he can he may beat Manny Pacquiao but Manny Pacquiao is good at Dodging, he has a fast reflex that is not underestimated. All fighters that fought Pacquiao 
knows that he's he's a puncher he is a fighter who is a hard to touch he's hard to touch uh, Keith Thurman somehow also knows how to dodge he can evade punches too so both fighters will be caution on, cautious on each other so we're gonna expect July 20 a chaotic fight more action in the ring it will be a chess match and most importantly both fighters will evade each other's punches they will watch each other's power punches because they respect each other's power okay so what is what is Pacquiao's advantage on this fight Pacquiao's advantage on this fight is that he has more speed uh, he has the motivation of yeah yeah there's one thing that angered Pacquiao which is Keith Thurman said he is gonna crucify Pacquiao that crossed the line so that that will make him so any anger that was built up in Pacquiao's heart or inside of Pacquiao he's gonna show it whether he's angry or not he's gonna show it in the ring like he's so angry he's he's gonna make Keith Thurman eat his words and I hope Keith Thurman will stand up on his words and will not just stand on his trash talk he has the right to talk trash because he is undefeated he has a strong right hand so he cannot be underestimated July 20th come July 20th MGM Grand Las Vegas it will be a great fight it will be a great fight I know you will enjoy the fight. You will enjoy the fight. So tune in July 20th. It will be an amazing battle. Pacquiao, Manny Pacquiao, a champion versus Keith Thurman defending his championship for the WBA. WBA. World Welterweight Championship. So yeah. Uh, Keith Thurman's advantage in this fight is that he's fighting an older guy he's on his prime we don't know who is stronger in terms of power but Keith Thurman has a strong right hand so Manny Pacquiao should evade that punch so yeah I hope you will watch the fight because it will be an exciting fight but for me According to their last fights, Manny Pacquiao has the edge. Has a bigger edge on the fight. Because once Keith Thurman was hit, it, it's hard. It's hard to recover. And Pacquiao is good at backing up his punches. So yeah. Based on what I watched, no offenses, but Pacquiao. Pacquiao is on the lead and has a higher has a higher chance of winning the fight I'm not a pro I'm not an expert based on my analysis just based on how I watched those fights I watched the highlights of Keith, oh, of Keith Thurman versus Jose Cito Lopez and Manny Pacquiao versus Adrian Broner I watched them round by round round by round and Manny Pacquiao really has the edge but Keith Thurman should not be inter underestimated because he has a strong power he can evade good he's good at evading punches too uh, I don't know if he can apply that on Pacquiao because Pacquiao is a faster fighter so yeah tune in watch July 20th this will be a brawl so yeah, that's all I can say. Peace.